Now, my friends, let's continue the lesson. We will learn the ascending and descending order on the number line. Let's start. Now, can we arrange these numbers in ascending order on the number line? Of course we can. First, we must know that when arranging an ascending order on the number line, we will put the numbers from left to right. Well, we will figure out the smallest number in these numbers, so we will determine the place values. Ones, tens, and hundreds. Then we will compare the hundreds places. Let's begin. Here there is one. Here is one. Also here is one. And here is one. The hundreds place is equal, so what do we do? We compare the tens place. The number two is found in all tens places. It's also equal. Now what do we do? Well done, we compare the ones place. Here there is five, here is seven, here is six, and here is eight. Which number is the smallest? The number five, excellent. So the number 125 is the smallest, so we will put it here in the left. Now we have three numbers left. We compare the ones places because the hundreds and tens places are equal. Here we have seven, and here is six, and here eight. Which number is the smallest? The number six, good job. So the number 126 is the smallest, so we'll put it here. Great. We have two numbers left. Here is a number seven, and here is a number eight. Which one is the smallest? The number seven, well done. So the number 127 is the smallest. We will put it here. As for the number, 128 is the largest, so we will put it here. How do we arrange the numbers on the number line in descending order? Let us find out together. Here are the numbers. We want to arrange them in descending order on the number line. In descending order means we will put the numbers from right to left, and from largest to smallest. How do we determine the largest number in these numbers? The first step is to determine the place values, ones, tens, and hundreds. The second step, we will compare the hundreds place. Let's start. Here there are two, here two, also here two, and here two. So the hundreds place is equal. What do we do? We compare the tens place. The number three is found in all the tens places. It is also equal. Now, what do we do? Excellent, we compare the ones place. Here there is one, here three, here two, and here four. Which number is the largest? The number four, good job. So, the number 234 is the largest, so we will put it here on the right. Now we have three numbers left. We are comparing the ones places because the hundreds and tens are equal. So here we have one, here three, and here two. Which number is the largest? The number three, well done. So the number 233 is the largest. So we will put it here. Great. We have two numbers left. Here is the number one, and here is the number two. Which one is the largest? Excellent, the number two. So the number 232 is the largest. We will put it here. As for the number 
231 is the smallest, so we will put it here. Now it's time for a challenge. Look with me. We have three numbers, 5, 8, 2, and we want to make out of it the largest number that consists of three place values. Who knows how to make the largest number out of these numbers? Excellent. In order to make the largest number, we will put in the hundredth place the largest number. Which of these numbers is the largest? The number 8. Excellent. Therefore, we will put it in the hundredth place. We have two numbers left. So we will put the largest number in the tens place. Which number is the largest? The number 5, well done, so we will put it in the tens place. Then we put the number 2 in the ones place. What do we do if we want to make the smallest number? Let us find out together. We have three numbers, 4, 7, 1. We want to make out of it the smallest number that consists of three place values, ones, tens, and hundreds. Who knows how to make the smallest number of these numbers? Excellent! To make the smallest number, we will put in the hundreds place the smallest number. Which of these numbers is the smallest? The number one. Excellent! so we will put in the hundreds place. We have two numbers left. We will put the smaller number in the tens place. Which number is the smallest? The number four. Well done. So we will put it in the tens place. Then we will put the number seven in the ones place. You are great. Excellent. With this, my dear students, we have learned arranging numbers in ascending and descending order within the number 999, arranging numbers in ascending and descending order on the number line, and we learned how to make the largest possible number and the smallest possible number from three different numbers. <laughs>